Hi, I'm Jerome Raska, and I'm excited to share with you a quick and easy fall centerpiece for this upcoming season. First of all, it's important as always, make sure that your foam, having been soaked, uh, that is trimmed and neatly fits into the container. In this particular container, this wooden trug, which is really great for the fall holidays, I just beveled the edges slightly so that it fits snugly into the container and no additional foam tape or anything is needed to make that a complete uh, insertion with the foam. After that, I like to create a small grid work with the birch branches. It's a very easy grid work that serves as somewhat of an armature, snipping off the uh, birch branches, laying them crisscross atop the foam so that you create that grid feeling. You can put as much or as little as you want, depending on the design that you're trying to create. Once those items are laying on top of the foam, what I like to do is take a chenille stem. Kind of an old fashioned thing, but it works really well. What's great about chenille stems, or some people call them pipe cleaners, is that the, what, they are kind of that little fuzzy fabric on them that when you bend them into a hairpin and put them over top of your dried materials and insert them into the foam like this, the pipe cleaner itself, or chenille stem, will swell because of the moisture of the foam. Once it swells, it then locks it into place and it's a very secure insertion on top of this foam so that now when you go to start with your fresh product, they're all in there nice and snug and it creates a beautiful foundation that's nice and secure as you put your fresh product or dried materials in. The next step we're gonna do is add some lotus pods. Lotus pods, again, uh, are great for this type of uh, seasonal arrangement because they are uh, something that has been around for many years but often get overlooked by uh, many designers because of the fact that they have been around. But what I like about them is that you can take the stems out, you can insert them on the sides such as this, and then insert that into the container and create a nice terracing effect as you can see here that I've done with the, with the lotus pods. Once we have the foundation in place and the terrace lotus pods, then we can start beginning to add our fresh product. Here we have a Milky Way leaf. Uh, they're great to use during the, uh, the design process because they're very long lasting. And what I do here is just simply cut the stem off, angle the stem a little bit, fold the, the leaf over, insert my knife to create a small insertion, and then bend this leaf over so that I can put it into the foam and it creates somewhat of a ribboning effect, such as that. Again, insert. Put. And when you terrace them, much like I did the lotus pods, it works out really well because then you can have the terrace lotus pods and the ribboning of the Milky Way leaves. Also, this season, we have great millet product available. This is really great too because of the textures that it adds into the design. I love working with the different grasses and the millets this time of year. It's really a fun product to intermix into your fresh flowers. There's a lot of different grasses and grains available through the Mayash Company that really help to uh, enhance our designs this time of year. This here is a uh, Crocosmia pod, otherwise known as Montbrigia. The Montbrigia flower, as we all know, blooms orange, but this is the pod after the flower has passed, and we use them often this time of year as a nice textural piece within a design. So again, to enhance the length of the uh, birch branch armature that we've created, I'm going to add a few of these stems of the Crocosmia pods into the design. They look a little peculiar at the moment, but once we start to fill things in, you'll see how it does kind of come into fruition and add, the texture adds a nice look. Next, we'll add a couple nice sunflowers that will help be the focal points, and we can add those right in through the armature. Again, those branch armature helps secure the flowers in place. We just simply cut the stems on an angle, get rid of the foliages, which always perish anyway, so it's just best to remove them in advance and then insert the uh, sunflower into the fresh foam. So you can see how that's starting to come together and we're grouping the products within the design. Next we have some wonderful jester variety of leucodendron, which is a nice tri-colored leucodendron that's available to us.
And of course, there's always the uh, uh, wonderful leaves that are available this time of year as well that we can insert into the foam uh, and add that little added texture as well as burst of color to remind us that it's autumn and we're enjoying the beautiful fall colored leaves in many parts of the country. It's kind of a peaceful time of year for many people and so I think this fall design helps uh, repeat that feeling for many and we sell a lot of this type of look. The Hypericum berries work really nice to also to just simply insert into the design. Um, berries, of course, very appropriate for the fall season, the harvest time of year. I like this variety of the uh, Hypericum berries. Notice I'm removing all the foliages because again, the foliages will start to perish much quicker. The berries will hold up for a long period of time and give the recipient a much longer time to enjoy the design. Next, I wanted to add in a few of these beautiful roses. This variety of rose is called Matilda. Uh, it's a beautiful flower uh, that's available to us. And I thought it picked up the colors of the design nicely. So I'm just gonna insert a few of those in. We all know that when we're using fresh flowers, anytime you're using the fresh flower close to the water source, it's going to give it a much uh, longer time uh, for the f in recipients to enjoy. So keep that in mind as well. And also when you're selling uh, to, to your clients, remind them that a lot of times the compact designs are much longer lasting because they are close to the water source. So you can see how that comes together and becomes a nice centerpiece for the holiday seasons during the fall months.